Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about how to do depth of field in post. Now it's not perfect depth of field, but it is something you can do if you need to, if you want to make your shots a little bit more interesting or change things around a little bit. For instance, this is a standard shot of a panning shot of a kitchen. You could have the bench in focus. Usually we do a, have the camera a lot lower than this to make this more of a realistic depth of field shot, but it'll give you the idea of how it actually looks. As you can see, we've blurred all, half the table and we've got the edge of the table in focus, the edge of the chair and so on. And how we did that was pretty simple, actually. As I said, it's not real depth of field. It is the illusion of depth of field, but you can play around with it in post to make it a bit more realistic if you like. Okay, so load your footage into After Effects. As you can see, this is just standard panning shot of the kitchen without the depth of field. Then we go lay a new adjustment layer up top. You can name these layers if you want, but you're only working with two layers here, so it's pretty easy. Now, go right to the start of your footage like this and use the pen tool up the top there. Click on that, and we're going to create a mask here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go from the edge of, say, well, we'll go off the edge of the screen here, maybe down in the corner, like so, and go to the edge of that chair, and then just down to the table, say about here across and up to the corner of that chair and then down here like so. Now we've created a mask in the adjustment layer. And what we'll do now is we'll click the arrow on left on your adjustment layer here and go to masks. Click on the mask one. You can hit control M or something. I'm not sure what the actual shortcut is but I'm sure someone will say it on YouTube what it is. Uh, click on the mask path. And because this is only three seconds long and everything's going to be very blurry Go back up to the normal selector tool. You can, um, you don't have to worry about being too precise with your mask and the animation. So you've got to, by clicking on that stopwatch there, we've got a starting point of this mask. If you just scroll along to around about a second, and we'll just move, just click anywhere in the vacant space so you can move each point to that chair like so. We're just going to put the points back where they were. And then go through to two seconds. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then three seconds. Like so. So now when you roll back, those masking points move with your footage. Okay, now select the adjustment layer. And go effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur. You can make this as blurry as you want. Just click on the the arrow here, and you can drag it along to wherever you like. And as you can see, it blurs the footage where you've drawn that mask. So if you click off that, just click down here somewhere, you'll see that you've got blurry footage with a nice sharp edge. Then you go down to your mask feather, and you can feather this by dragging across. Or putting in a value if you like, but I generally just drag it to what looks best for me. Now you can see you've got an actual blurry foreground. If you press play, that's how it looks. I said it's not real and it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. And it makes a, a quite a boring shot a little bit more interesting. Anyway, if you uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time for the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.